everybody. Well, now I really like baked stuff, but I don't like baking stuff because this is what happens to my pan. It gets all stuff, and this is clean. It just is like stained. And it doesn't, you know, it doesn't um, keep things from sticking on it very good. And any place where there's not actual food cooking at just gets like ate up by the oils and it just looks nasty and I hate it I mean this is a good cookie sheet it's a heavy cookie sheet but uh, most of the time I end up just throwing foil over it but then everything sticks to the foil so this is kind of a cool product that I got and then just a second non-stick silicone baking mat from bake it fun now if you hold on just a second I'll get it out and we'll see how it looks Oh, so this is cool. It's actually a little bit bigger than my baking pan, but I think that should be okay. It's really, like it really feels like silicone. You can see that it's got, it's kind of see-through there. It's got kind of stitching inside of it, I guess to make it tougher or something. But it's even got places to like, you know, where you should space out your cookies. So I got some uh, breakaway cookies. Let me grab those out and um, we'll put them in the spaces that it shows. Why not? So here's something I would have messed up on. You see how there's, you know, 12 neat little spots and that's how many should fit on my cookie sheet here. And there's more. There's still cookies left over. I would have probably tried to get them all to fit on here. Well, they would have fit, right? Anyway, if you can see, there's actual inch markers around the edges on all of them so if you need things to be specific like it says the cookies should be two inches apart and if you look that's how far these circles are apart from each other is two inches so that's really pretty cool all right um so let me pop these in the oven and i will come back and see how it came out See that I noticed with it. So thank you for your purchase. Now enjoy your moment with your Bake It Fun product. If you're not 100% satisfied, we'll give you your money back. And you could join a VIP club to get up to 40% discounts on their products. And you can find them on all your favorite social medias. Pretty cool. Yeah, even has a phone number you can call them. It says, you definitely put it on a baking sheet with the writing up. Preheat oven before placing the mat. You could cook with it up to 450 degrees. Cooking time may be slightly shorter than with baking trays. So it's good that I, when I set my timer, I set it for a little bit shorter than the time. Well, I set it for the lowest time. Alright, uh, let the bake product cool a little before taking off of mat, and that will facilitate the sliding of the food. For microwave use, put directly on the glass tray. Now, um, my microwave is small, so it's definitely not going to fit in the microwave. Oh, it's dishwasher safe on the top rack. Oh, and I noticed that it didn't stay, like it was rolled up in here and it flopped out really easily. It didn't like stay pent up. So that's pretty cool. Wow. That's a half size mat. I guess it came a lot bigger than that. I could have used one that was a little bit smaller. Because that's a, that's a pretty big cookie sheet. I don't know the dimensions, but the dimensions of this are right there. 11 and 5 eighths by 16 and a half. So it's probably, I'm going to say it's probably about um, 15 inches, my cookie sheet. Huh, okay. We've got a little bit of time left. 
You'll see in a few minutes. I'll sit in hiatus. So here's what we're doing in the meantime. Fighting a giant crab. Yay! So it's on my timer, so I figured we'd check this out. See how it's looking in here. Ah, oh, cookies look to be getting dark on the bottom. They're not done. Still quite square. So we'll let it go the other two. Those cookies look to be ready. Always on your appropriate safety gear. When filming yourself taking hot stuff out of the oven. Woohoo! Alright, now it says to let this cool down before you try to take the cookies off. I wonder, this is stupid. Alright, yeah, the silicone sheet does get hot, so don't just like try to grab it. <laughs> Alright, but I think I'm gonna move it off the pan. Over here on my cutting board. All right. Well, that is the proper distance apart. I definitely have to say they slid a bit over because this is too long for my pan, but that's okay. They're still separate from each other. That's it. And they're definitely better spaced than if I would have done it myself. The silicone pad cools off pretty quickly, so I think I'm going to give it a couple of minutes, and then I will be back to see how the cookies come off. Okay, it's been about, I don't know, two or three minutes, and the silicone mat is cool now. I'll check this out. None of them are stuck. I didn't put anything on the mat, except for the cookies. And they are all completely loose. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I probably should have got a plate out or something. Bowl. So I think I'm going to do another round of cookies. And it's just because I forgot I'm probably going to be posting this on YouTube too. Um, so this, I'm Samantha. This is Review Stuffs. And... I received this product for free to review via Tomosin.com. So, um, see y'all later. I'm gonna eat some cookies.